What is going on, guys? Johnny on the track back with another uh, video here. And this week, we've got a good one. Arguably the best track in the NASCAR Cup Series. We got playoff racing at Talladega. Second race in the round of 12. Um, coming off a, a better Texas race. Like a Texas race that wasn't complete and utter trash. I mean, it was still it's still trash. It's a trash track. Um, it's It's so hard to pass. I mean, it is what it is, but it wasn't the worst Texas race I've seen. Um, I think on Jeff Gluck's poll on on Twitter and X, whatever the heck you want to call that, um, I think it ranked like third of the Texas races. So, you know, not not terrible, but by by uh, by any means. But again, not um, you know, not good. I'll say that, uh, and especially for our bets. Again, I warned you guys. Um, you know take Texas with a grain of salt. I mean, it's, it's, it's tough to win there. It's, it's really tough to win a bet. Um, it's, it's one of those tracks where, you know, any, there's going to be a lot of cautions, which we saw, um, the guy who's out front at the end is going to win the race. Um, and you know, the crazy part about that race was we got a late race restart. We had a nice battle going between, uh, Bubba and Chase Briscoe. Um, and Byron just made a great move, um, a, a really, really good move. But again, I mean, that that had to do with a lot of cautions. Um, that race was kind of decided, if not for those cautions, um, Larson runs away with that thing. Um, it just I mean, it, it is what it is. He he was like eight seconds um, in front of second place. I mean, that's Texas. So, um, yeah, like I said, tough to hit a bet. We move on. We move forward. Uh, we've got Dega, my favorite track. Um, another tough one to win a bet at. I mean, super speedways are tough, right? Like literally anything can happen. That's why people enjoy betting on super speedways because the odds are really in the better's favor. Um, I always say when we go to super speedways, um, for those that might be new to the channel, new to the podcast, bet small to win big. That is the best part about super speedways. Anybody can win. The odds are in your favor. So bet small and you win something big still. Um, that's the best part of it. So with that, let's get into it. I guess real quick, we'll shout out NASCAR betting preview show. Um, that's where you should be able to listen to this podcast uh, on the podcasts app. Um, and, you know, love what they're doing. If you want to tune into their stuff. Yeah. Like I said, definitely subscribe uh, or um you know, go to pod uh, podcast, go search NASCAR betting preview show. You can find all, um, you know, great betting content from uh, a bunch of content creators, um, you know, who share their bets, just like myself. Um, and if you're listening on the podcast, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, that's Johnny on the track on YouTube. You can also um, follow me on Twitter at J O T T underscore podcast on Twitter uh, and Johnny on the track on a uh, action network for all my bets. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then, oh, as well, um, Wednesday nights, 8 PM Twitter spaces. Uh, that's where you can find the, um, actual NASCAR betting preview show, um, that they do great job. Uh, I enjoy watching that back. It's tough for me to actually, uh, go to it live because of the fact that it's Wednesday nights and I got to drive to work in the morning, uh, which always sucks. So, um, anywho, Let's do it. Talladega. Um, I'm going to just start by basically throwing out two bets that I, I feel like you just have to bet on these guys um, out of respect to one of the greatest comedy films of all time, Talladega Nights. We've got uh, Ryan Priest and Chase Briscoe running um, – Ricky Bobby and Cal Mountain Jr.'s schemes from Talladega Nights at Talladega. No, it's not a night race, which kind of stinks. That would be pretty cool if it was like literally a night race at Talladega and these two guys run that scheme. Uh, but just 
for the greatest NASCAR movie of all time. Um, I mean, maybe the greatest Will Ferrell movie of all time. I think you could definitely make an argument. Um, and one of the greatest comedy films of all time. Um, you've got to bet on those two schemes. They look amazing. Old Spice, Wonder Bread. You gotta put you gotta put your money on those guys. Um, I because I think they're gonna be fast. Ford is definitely gonna be fast. We've seen it. Um, that Fords are the cream of the crop when it comes to super speedways this year. So I think they'll have a shot at it for sure. Um, all right, let's go with my favorite bet of the week. It's Brad Keselowski, guys. It really is. Um, I think it's finally going to be his day. He's been really close a few times from Daytona to Atlanta, um, to the first talent, uh, well, to both Atlanta races. Um, yeah, I mean, the, I, I don't look. It's tough for me to continue to bet on Brad Keselowski at a super speedway and like just lose in the most heartbreaking fashion. But I believe in Brad. I believe in this team. I actually, when I did my playoff bracket, filled that out. Um, I had Brad Keselowski making it to the final four. Do I think his teammate, Chris Buescher, has been better this year? Yeah. Um, but I think when it comes down to it, um, deep in the playoffs, I trust Brad Keselowski because he's a champion, because he's a veteran, because he's done that. He's been there. Um, and I think he comes away with a big, big, big win this Sunday. I love that bet. I believe in you, Brad. I believe in you, Brad. Go get it done. Come on. This is his best shot. If he's going to win a race this year, this is his best shot. This is it. Um, I don't think he can win any of those other races left on the schedule. I, I really don't. Uh, so I think it's here. I think it's now. I think it's Sunday. Brad Keselowski, let's run it. Um, Ryan Blaney, another guy. I'm also in on Blaney this week. Um, I mentioned how I love the Fords a little bit earlier. Um, he was your Dega runner up earlier this season. He he didn't have the best average running position um, in that race, but Blaney's just one of those guys at a super speedway. He just finds a way. He just finds a way to be in that thing at the end. Um, so look, I feel like if Blaney were to win here, I think he could get hot. I think he could get hot and maybe make a run to, to the final four um, of the Penske Fords this season. I think Blaney has been the best Logano, obviously out of the playoffs. Um, I think Blaney has had the most speed from that team. Not always the best results. Logano was kind of the one getting some of the crazy, like top 10 results when he really didn't have much speed. Blaney had the speed, but didn't have the results to show for. I still like Ryan Blaney in this spot. Um, I think he's a good pick this weekend. Another guy, uh, Eric Almarola. One of my favorite drivers. He's got the best driver rating and the best average running position at Talladega among, uh, among active drivers. Um, where do I find that stat? Ifantasyrace.com. Ryan, what he's doing. I shout him out so much. I'm going to continue to shout him out because the stats are the best. Um, he's a big part of, of helping you know us guys win bets. That's what he does. Um, and so you look at the numbers, Eric Almirola, um, just always, always fast on super speedways in general, but his best track uh, is Talladega. He's won here before he won a play when he was in the playoffs, he won uh, this very race to lock himself into the next round. Um, so the history is there. I like Eric Almirola in this spot, Stuart Haas. He won a, uh, yeah, he won a stage here earlier this year. They've shown speed at these um, sort of tracks. So I like Almirola in this spot. Um, and then I'm going to go with one more here. I'm going to look at Bubba. I'm going to look at Bubba. And it was a tough one last week for Bubba. I think he let that one slip away. Um, I really do. I think maybe if he makes, I don't know, a, a one quick, smarter decision on that restart, maybe things go a different way. But it's really hard to say that um, to a guy, one, who's who's been exceptional at restarts this season. And then at the same time, you know, um, it's easier, right? Like to say that now when, right. And in, in, in the moment it's, it's tough. You're, you're fighting. Everybody wants to win there at the end. Um, so look, I do think one, one small change, uh, and probably that, that race goes his way and he wins. Um, but he didn't, it was Byron. I let it slip away. Like I said, I think this is the ultimate response. Um, to last week would be coming out with a win. I think he is more than capable of doing this. 
Um, he's won at Dagan before. I think from what I see in the points, it seems like he's going to need to continue to get points. So I look for him to run up front early, uh, run up front often. I think he's going to have a fast car. Um, it's been Fords and Toyotas mostly. And Fords on top, Toyotas two, and then Chevys three. Um, in terms of speed, now, I mean, Kyle Busch did win the first Talladega race, but when you look at speed, um, it's kind of been in that order. Uh, maybe you can make an argument, right? Some of those Hendrick, uh, Hendrick Chevys, I mean, right, they're always fast. Um, you look at Bowman, you look at even Larson has been pretty fast on some of these tracks. Um, but I look at Bubba Wallace. I like that bet. I think he's here. I think he is here to stay in these playoffs, but if he is, it has to come this weekend at Talladega. This is a great track for that team. Um, and I like his chances to be honest with you real quick. I just want to get the odds on these guys. Um, so we'll start with Ryan priest and chase Briscoe, uh, 40 to one plus 4,000 for priest, uh, chase Briscoe 30 to one plus 3,000, um, Kezi, I believe is the favorite at 10 to one. Yep. He is 10 to one plus a thousand is that bet. Um, Ryan Blaney, I believe. Yep. 12 to one. So plus 1200 Almarola 20 to one plus 2000. I don't love that number. I'd like to get that closer to 30 if we can, um, maybe qualifying in practice would help us out there. I don't, but like I said, I don't like that number. Um, and, and Bubba. Uh, Bubba here, uh, 14 to one plus 1400 fair on the number. I don't know. Maybe we can get that close to 17. If he starts at the back, I, I don't know, but, um, I think those numbers are all fair. I think if you want to take that extra step, maybe you look at the team bet of RFK, um, Busher won the Daytona race. He's been, you know, just as good as Brad this year on super speedways. Um, so I'd look for him to have a big day. Um, and then one more quick name I'll throw out there is, is Kyle Busch. Um, maybe not for a win, but I do think with the points cushion that he, or with the bad run right at Texas, he's going to have to run up front most of the day. Um, maybe him to win a stage. I think that's a pretty solid bet. Um, maybe him to finish top five or top three. I think that's a, a solid bet as well. Kyle Busch is going to play this thing the right way. I feel like. Um, I don't, I, I feel it. Look, is Kyle Busch going for a win? Of course, everybody's going for a win at Talladega, but I, I honestly think Kyle Busch is saying, can I come out of here fifth place? Can I come out of here fifth place and I'll be happy. Um, so I like that kind of mindset and I like a top five for Kyle Busch. I'll throw that one in there as well. Um, so one more time, Priest Briscoe, we have to do it. Brad Keselowski, Ryan Blaney, Eric Almarola, Bubba Wallace, and then maybe something extra, Kyle Busch top five, um, RFK to win. Uh, that gives you Busher as well. Um, so there are the bets. Talladega, like I said, my favorite track. Um, you can make an argument, the best track. Like it, It's my favorite, that's for sure. So I'll be locked in um, throughout that whole race. Every lap is good stuff at Talladega. Uh, Want to know what you guys think? Put it in the comments for sure. Let's see who you're going with this weekend. Um, like this video. That goes a long way as well. And if you're a first-time uh, viewer, definitely subscribe for more content. We, we've got some cool things dropping later this week. It'll be a series that continues on. Do a, That's my tease for it. So stay tuned on the channel. Really something cool coming this Friday um, that I'm excited about. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Let's have a win at uh, Talladega.